everybody, welcome back to Rich Reviews. So today we're going to be driving from Juan in France onto Le Mans. It's around 280 miles and it's about a four and a half hour journey so it's going to be quite a brutal drive. Um, we're going to be taking in mostly motorways so it's not going to be too many scenic bits of driving so probably we're going to, you'll catch us next at Le Mans. So we're going to be setting off in a minute, we're just finalising packing our cars and we're going to be heading off to Le Mans. That's the 812 you can hear fire up. Do you join us next, probably at the mall. how these toll booths work. So obviously the roads are tolled in effect as a way of paying tax for the usage of the road and it's based on the type of car you have and the type of road and how many miles you're doing on a road. We have an electronic um, tag here and the electronic tag is picked up by a scanner. You can see it's opened up the barrier and it's almost instant so that you can go through very very quickly if you've got the automated chip system. We're pretty much through. This is one of this is the piece that that's in our group for a pista. Unfortunately, um, the 812 GTS always has problems. He has a handheld scanner for some reason. I don't quite understand what's going on there. Um, and the 458 will be through as well in a minute. And then what we do is we reconvene on the side and wait for everybody. So we go really slow on the motorway sections where they have these toll booths so that we all reconvene um, and catch up and then we carry on driving in a group. And the toll booths are about every 20 miles, 20, 30 miles, something like that. Uh, that's not consistent, it's just a, an average that I've perceived that they that they run at. And you can see that these French, we're in France at the moment by the way, and the French, French drive like absolute lunatics. They drive at each other. We've got some clown coming up behind us now thinking he wants a race. And they just bloody drive at you and all their cars are beaten to shit. And that's why, because they drive at everybody. Not very few of them drive nice cars, but we did catch up. We, we stopped off at services and there was a guy there with a very rare speedster in like mint green. And he'd bought pretty much every other Porsche to be able to get that allocation. He had GT3 RSs and he's also got a Dakar allocation as well, which is pretty cool. So you meet all different types of people and he was a German businessman, very well spoken, very well dressed. And obviously his car was absolutely stunning. So you meet a very eclectic range of people on these sort of tours, on these driving events. So, so yeah, a very interesting event, very, very cool. And uh, we're just going to catch up with the other 458 now and uh, keep in the slow lane so that we can let the 812 catch up with us. degrees outside it's just too hot to have the roof down I've got sun cream on everything else but it's just brutally hot uh, for an English person in these temperatures with the roof down you're gonna get potential um, skin cancer etc so you've got to be careful so we've got a roof up aircon full-on and we're just driving comfortably um, and it's a lot more comfortable than having the roof down uh, which is quite bizarre really. you think you'd, with, um, with a spider you'd want the roof down all the time but you know, that's how it is and we're on the motorway. These are long protracted sections of motorway that we're on now to drive in to get into Le Mans. Um, as I detailed earlier, we're around 280 miles that we're driving today to get into Le Mans, to get to our chateau at Le Mans, uh, which is overall gonna take us four and a half hours end to end. Uh, we've got, I think, around another 140 odd clicks, um, kilometers in effect on this section of motorway. So we've still got quite a distance to go yet. Um, and we're not bringing you much footage of the. We got some. We'll have. We'll provide. We're providing you some B-rolls of some uh, footage that we're overlaying over what we're doing on the motorway. But in general, we're not giving you any protracted, extended sections because it's just bloody boring. You know, we're just. It's just motorway driving. The only thing that's interesting is how the French are driving up your ass all the time. 
but at least we've got the power to get away from the bus. Now we're just on the last stages into Lamar. We've come off the motorway and we're down the side roads into Lamar and to, well, actually into where our chateau is. So our chateau is fairly rural, but it's quite close, obviously, still to Le Mans. So we'll be getting, one of the guys is bringing that 4x4, so we'll be taking that 4x4 into close proximity to Le Mans, and then we will, we'll be walking in from there. So we won't be taking the supercars up to Le Mans. The supercars will be um, securely parked at our chateau. So this is our home for the next three days, guys. This is the chateau where we're staying. gather we're here at Le Mans this is 2023 Le Mans so this is a centenary year this is a very important year oh, hopefully you can hear me guys so far we've had multiple crashes we've had a bit of a rainstorm uh, which has of course people the, the cars are on slicks so of course they've had accidents because they've been on slicks and I think it's there's pretty much been a record amount of safety cars because of the accident, so it's quite an interesting year. It's really an epic year for Le Mans. An important thing to note about the centenary year is that this is Ferrari's first uh, first return to form for a circa 50 years, and they're, they're currently running they're currently running around third and fourth, so they're doing really well. Of course, it's a long time to go yet. There's still another I don't know circa 16, 20 hours to go yet, about 20 odd hours to go yet. So. Um, it's quite a long way to go, yeah, and this is a war of attrition on these cars because it's all about reliability and, of course, performance, but the key thing is reliability with that performance, and that's what sets the good brands and good manufacturers apart from the weak. So I'll hand you over to the cars.
we're seven hours in at Le Mans and now we're night racing. We've got 17 hours to go yet. Hopefully you can hear me okay. You can see. I believe Ferrari are still very high up in the rankings at the moment, even maybe still one and two, because recently they were one and two. Not sure of the rankings just recently but they're very high up and they're doing exceptionally well, so let's keep our fingers crossed for up for Ferrari. daytime at Le Mans. We've been here all night, so, you'll, so we catch some great footage for you overnight. Um, you do what you've got to do, so we just slept by the track on some grass sections. Um, you know, that's that's what works out and that's what you've got to do when you're at these these events. Because if we went back to our to our chateau and then came back again, you lose about four hours and you lose the night shift in effect. So we stayed here all night just so we could capture some footage for you. There's been about 17 and a half hours of racing now, and we've got about six, six and a half hours to go. We're not gonna be able to be here to see the closeout of the event, because if we do that, then we're not gonna be able to get out of the complex. Because, because exiting, exiting Le Mans is hell. So we'll, so we'll try and cover you off a bit of that at the very end. But we're just gonna close out the actual racing from this stage here now. So we've got about six, six and a half hours left. Ferrari are doing very, very well. We're really hopeful that they're going to win, but we'll, we'll provide you the end conclusion later on. So we're closing out our video, guys, from the beautiful chateau that we've rented. Pretty cool, eh? We leased this for three days, so it's been a pretty cool place for us to stay, although we've only been here for actually one day, full end, end to end. Now, Ferrari came first and fifth, Toyota second. The reason why Ferrari came fifth was because they had a spin out. So that caused them to, to drop back from the second position where they were in, in the leaderboard previously. Um, we nearly actually lost the lead, when I say we Ferrari, um, because in the pits, the car was stalled and the driver didn't know how to actually restart it or use the proper restart mechanism, but they did get it started in the end within the contingency, in effect, the lead that they had between them and Toyota and Ferrari won. Fantastic result, absolutely fantastic. So really, really pleased about that result. And we can say we were there on centenary year at Le Mans, the year that Ferrari won. The first win that they've had or the first placement that they had in 58 years. Hell of a, hell of a coincidence. And very, very fortunate that we were there for that win. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give a thumbs up to the video. Make sure you give it a like, very, very important for the channel. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. It's free to do so, it doesn't cost you anything and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. And guys, we have around 94% of our viewers that aren't subscribed. So it'd be really, really good if we can convert some of you to subscribers. It is, is truly important to the channel. To move the channel forward, we need you guys to subscribe, please. Thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll catch you in the next video.